Bazinga. So, in this book here, this big red book, on the first page, you got a hit list, okay? Now, on this hit list is people I wouldn't actually want to kill because, you know, that's illegal. But you got TikTokers here, you know, because I fucking hate TikTokers. You got vegans. No offense, just I don't like vegans. Uh, social media influencers, because, like, fuck them. Then you got flexors and hype beasts, and then sitcom writers. It's like, what the fuck comes up with this shit? Like, I fucking hate sitcoms. But, like, it's all fine. The plots are okay, I guess. Let's just take Full House, for example. Like, in every episode, like, the two little kids in the show, like, get up to some shit. Like, they fucking, like, bomb Iran or something. And then their dad's just like, oh, it's fine. You learned your lesson. They were, like, grounded for, like, two minutes. But that's all fine. But what really, like, pisses me off is the music in those kind of shows. Like, one minute it's up here when some dude, dude did something, like, mildly funny. And they got, like, the fucking Jerry Seinfeld or fucking Seinfeld theme playing. I turned myself into a pickle, Morty! <laughs> and the next minute, it's like down here, because like something like kind of sad happened, and they're playing like some fucking like full-on orchestral music. We've forgotten the crackers! Okay, so originally I was just gonna, you know, get some clips from sitcoms that have like really stupid-ass music, and you know, kind of write, write music that like better describes the situation. But I can't do that for two reasons. First reason is because if I were to like put different music over the audio, um, I would always have to block with the audio since I don't have the software to like mute out music. So you know, it would just like mute their voices. Um, I kind of thought about like re-recording their voices with like text to speech and it would kind of be funny, but I'm trying to like be kind of like more professional, I guess. And the second reason is because like, although I've made songs in the past, I just don't have the right technology right now. Like I'm missing a few chords to like record like piano parts and like um, the guitar right now. It's it's complicated. So instead I'm just gonna, you know. Look at some clips from sitcoms where the music is weirdly placed or over dramatic. Okay, so I was gonna finish the rest of this video tonight, but it's pretty later and I'm kind of tired. I honestly don't have the willpower to do it. So I'm gonna continue the video tomorrow morning and hopefully it goes well. So like, what the hell, like the first, wait, how long was that? Five seconds of that clip. It had like more editing in it than a Michael Bay movie, but of course I'm not looking at the editing. And like, the music, it was just like, they took the in Inception sound effects. Uh, is, I think it's the Inception, I don't know. Sound effects and just like, cut it in half and like, made it like, repeated over and over again. Or it was like some fucking like Amish person was like ringing the cowbell at dinner time with like some like some like heavy drum beat in the background. I'm like Jesus Christ. G Jesus fucking Christ. She's just fucking like staring out the window. And I don't even think she's fucking staring out the window. Just calm the fuck down. A question? Sure, anything. You're my dad, right? Yeah, that's right. So where's my mom? Okay, so this scene has me a bit like wondering what's gonna happen next. And not with like the sad part about like her mom being dead or stuff. No, I'm talking about what's gonna happen music wise. They could turn it around and make it happy, they could make it sad. What's gonna happen? Who knows? Honestly, I don't really want to find out. Finally, some fucking music. I'm sorry, uh, but your mom died. 